So in my hands I have uh, 2,000 baby mosquito eggs. Florida pretty much all of our lives and uh, mosquitoes have always been an issue and uh, there never really seems like a good way to avoid them other than chemicals that damage the environment and other insects and in the environment uh, so our inspiration kind of came from there and then when the Zika started being carried by the 80s Egypti mosquito it really became a much larger problem as uh, started affecting humans. Once uh, we realized that the mosquitoes were such a large issue we tried to find an alternative uh, method of removing them without damaging anything in the environment. So we came up with a uh, sound that's going to be an oscillating frequency and it's going to repel these mosquitoes within an, uh, a certain radius. But the sound is probably very effective because they have very, uh, they're called scolopedia, which are hair-like projections on the front antenna of the mosquito and this hair picks up different frequencies while it's flying through the air. So if it uh, hears a dragonfly coming, it senses danger, and that's a specific frequency. So we started playing with sounds and realized that uh, certain frequencies create certain displacement. So if we mess with what is able to be picked up, it can't function properly and therefore it can't find people or any food source to bite. Yeah, honestly, just very excited to be working on this project. Um, being able to put together the plan and seeing what we envisioned you know, come into reality is, is a great thing. So we're excited for the possible effect in the future of the sound, repelling mosquitoes in a safe way, environmentally friendly, and once again we're excited to be working with um, Zika Zika and the people at Skim Shields.